And in this lesson today, we look at how the kidneys produce urine. We know that kidneys are organs of excretion, and their major waste product they excrete or they release from the body of a human person or a larger mammal is urine. And we're going to look at how which structures are involved in this urine production. What is our major concern today in this lesson? If you look at the, the kidney structure, the kidneys are supplied with blood by the renal artery, and then where whatever is contained on the blood on the renal artery will flow, the blood will flow back into the circulation system via the renal vein. If you look at this diagram, this showing the structure of the kidney, where we have the cortex, the outer layer, which covers or contains or contains the contents of the kidney. Then we have the middle part known as the medulla, which supports the pelvis. On the pelvis, we have the pyramids. These are the pyramids. These pyramids have structures known as the nephrons. The nephrons are millions of them on, this, on, the, on the pelvis. There are millions of them. Not only one, not two, millions of them. Now, if you're going to only to get to one nephron and magnify it, what we see is this. This is only the structure of the nephron. One nephron found in the pelvis of the, of the kidney. Remember, this is the blood which is coming from the, 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 the renal artery. So here we have the blood flowing in. Now this blood coming in, consists of water, consists of urea, consists of mineral salts, consists of fats, consists of glucose, consists of proteins. All these are found on this blood flowing in. Not everything here is useful for the body. So when this blood is coming here, it finds this structure here known as the glomerulus, which is found at the capsule, known as the Bowman's capsule. So I find that the, the glomerulus is contained on the capsule, the Bowman's capsule like this. As blood is flowing in, this blood is under high pressure. Remember, it is coming from the aorta artery. The Bowman's capsule is permeable. It allows some of these molecules to pass through, to be filtered. Since blood is flowing under high pressure, what is filtered here include water, water, urea, salts, glucose. These will be filtered and due to this pressure of blood and molecules being filtered at the Bowman's capsule, we call this as ultrafiltration. We have ultrafiltration process. Ultrafiltration. 
meaning high pressure. What is fuel tank now include water, glucose, salts. These are fuel tank because they are they have small molecules. Large molecules like fats and proteins are not filtered. They continue flowing in the blood capillaries. As these which are filtered go down the renal tubule, they find a loop here, which is coiled. What was filtered here, if it is required by the body, the cerebellum releases, together with the hypothalamus, will release a hormone known as antidiuretic hormone to reabsorb what is needed by the body. Here you have ultrafiltration. Here you have reabsorption. What is wanted is reabsorbed at this point and at this point. For example, water and glucose will be reabsorbed. What remains now will flow through the loop of Henry and will flow back. If what was wanted here was not completely reabsorbed, it will be reabsorbed again at this point. And in the end, you find that what remains is the unwanted solution, which will, will be now known as urine. So we have two processes which take place in urine production. We have ultrafiltration and selective reabsorption. What is reabsorbed is what, is what the body wants with the help of antidiuretic hormone. For example, water and glucose. This is why glucose is not supposed to be part of urine in a healthy person, unless the person is diabetic. Where insulin in the body is not degraded and glucose is not balanced in the body, then glucose will be found in urine. And then the person will go for a blood test, a urine test, where they will test for the presence of glucose. So we are saying that the nephrons of the kidneys in the pelvis are involved in the production of urine. And the nephrons undergo two processes, ultrafiltration and selective reabsorption. This is how urine is produced in the kidneys and how this is how the kidneys function as organs of excretion. This is how the kidneys work and I hope that you are going to, to, to be able to draw or to discuss when they ask you in your exams to say, describe or explain how the kidneys function as organs of excretion. The answer is very simple, just draw the structure of the nephron and be able to label the parts at the Bowman's capsule indicate ultrafiltration at the renal tube and the loop of Henle indicate selective reabsorption. And then what remains, what comes out is urine. By drawing the diagram, you will have described and explained fully. The diagram will help you to gain more marks than giving us a paragraph.